What's Jaden showed you so far? Uh, by Ava? Yes. Uh, he's done a good job. He has. I give him credit. You know, you could tell he's he's played. Uh, he's got some poise about him. Um, I can tell he's put in a lot of work behind the scenes uh, with with staff on his own. You know, with Luke in terms of just spending extra time learning the offense. Um, I feel like he's had a really good control uh, of what we're doing here in the first couple of days, given that it's his first few practices with us. So, um, yeah, he's off to a good start. Like I said, he's a he's a boys kid, right? You can tell he's not like some true freshman coming in here that's wide-eyed. He's played. He's learned how to prepare. Um, and you, you see that out on the field. What are your first impressions now that the pads are on? It's been it's been two really physical days. Uh, it has been. Uh, guys have gotten after it. Uh, the defense was um, certainly the more physical unit. First day of pads. Offense probably had the, had the upper hand on that uh, today. But it's been it's been kind of close. It's been back and forth. Uh, you know we've really we've really I think slowed down installations really on both sides. I know we've talked a lot defensively, but we tried to do it on both and really spend a lot of time you know on fundamentals. Um, a lot was made, you know, we've all talked a lot in the offseason about, you know, putting weight on these guys, getting stronger, bigger on the lines of scrimmage. That's that's one thing, you know, a lot of people look quite well. If you're going to get more physical, you got to get bigger and stronger. Yeah, that's part of it. But there's the technique and fundamentals of it is, I mean, just as important. And so we really tried to, to kind of slow down and, and, and be able to really spend time and emphasize the technique and fundamental side of these guys. And so obviously once you get the pads on, you get to see some of that in action. So, uh, yeah, been, been, been good so far. Been really competitive. We've been able to get a lot of reps. Jaden Maiava had an interesting recruiting process where he's committed to another school at one point. From your perspective, kind of what was that like going through that for you? Yeah, uh, you know, he he came he came over here and visited. Uh, we had a good visit. Obviously, we felt like we had a you know a pretty attractive situation uh, in that. We knew exactly what we were looking for and that we didn't have, you know, we don't got 15 guys lined up in that room right now. Uh, but we wanted somebody at the end of the day that that wanted to come compete here and believed in themselves enough to come compete. And, uh, you know, we, we think this is, you know, a pretty good place to play quarterback. And uh, and so, yeah, you know, he, he kind of went through his process. And I think, you know, in the end, I think he just decided, you know, this is really where he wanted to be. And the recruiting process can be tough on guys, you know, emotions, all that can, can, can really play a factor. And I think it probably did for him a little bit, especially for transfers, because it happens so quickly. Um, it doesn't get drawn out like a lot of these high school guys. So I, I think I think for him, it, obviously, you, you get his own words, but it really felt like to me, like once the dust settled, that he was able to just kind of catch his breath, say, all right, what do I really want to do here? I think it was pretty cool. Uh, uh, NIL has it's it's taken some monster leaps since we've been here. It's taken some monster leaps in the last several months, which has been really positive. It's great to see, you know, our fan base and our, our supporters. I think I think for everybody, it's just been gaining an understanding of what it is uh, and how it's not important. It's imperative. Like it's, I mean, you you have to have it. Uh, last year, um, last year was was okay. Um, it was great outside of kind of the whole collective world. I mean, our guys were able to to obviously being in LA. You know, our guys probably get more outside deals than, than anybody in the country, uh, which is awesome. Uh, but we need the support to be right there with the two from our donors and from our collectives. That that has taken some massive, massive jumps here in the last several months, I think, as our people get educated on what this really means. So, uh, but it's got to continue. I mean, like any part of this, you know, you want you want things to get better. Like you, you got to, you know, you have to do something about it. Behaviors have to change. You have to tear down things and build new facilities. Like you have to bring more money in. You have to bring in. Great, great coaches. You have to raise more NIL. I mean, like you gotta, you gotta keep pushing the issue. We're trying to do it here, and we're asking all our people on the outside to continue to do that as well. Coach, what kind of a statement does your recruiting efforts from Saturday make? And there's just a ton of buzz around USC right now. How significant? Well, it's 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 great. I mean, I think it's validity on you know some of the decisions that we've made here, uh, you know, both recently, and then I just think even for. 
you know, look in big scope, just even in the last couple of years. I mean, to 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 be able to have a weekend like we did last weekend is a, is a big deal. I mean, there's no question about it. And, um, I think you know people see it. Like I said, it's you know one thing is an idea, but when you come here and you see construction and you actually sit down with these staff members and you see kind of where all these things are headed, like it's not hard to pick out the trajectory. And I think more and more people across the country when they get on our campus are seeing that. And it's a reminder that like this place is second to none. Like what, what we have to offer kids um, is is different than anywhere else. And it's it's and a lot of it is things that money can't buy. And it's and it's a great reminder, you know, no matter what's happened in the last ten or fifteen years, man, like this this thing's still awesome. And it's gonna get back to being awesome and I think more people are you know, people are seeing that and, and I think being reminded of that um, in the areas where we needed to improve, we needed to step up, those things are happening. And, and weekends like that, uh, if we continue to push, we'll continue to happen. Let's see Coach, one more. Coach, have you had to adjust your practice at all? Wide receiver number is a little bit low. It's great yeah. to have Zachariah and Juice out here. Yeah. But have you adjusted your practice based on the wide receiver numbers? A little bit, a little bit. I, I don't know. I don't know to the untrained eye that they'd see like some massive difference, but I mean, we have, we've had to adjust the periods um, and how we do it. Uh, we've had to, you know, we've probably um, in some ways emphasized, you know, the run game and, and certainly defending the run even a little bit more here, especially the days where we don't have some of those guys when they're doing other sports, uh, which has been good because again, it, it all winds back to the, the physicality piece that we've been talking about anyway. So uh, yeah, we've had to adapt a little, the guys have handled it well, we've got some uh, got some good numbers on on you know kind of both lines of scrimmages and both cores and so you know emphasizing that getting those guys a lot more than reps has been necessary but it's also been you know a positive thing that was probably good for us anyway. Thank you Coach Hey thanks for watching make sure you subscribe for daily USC football content. Fight on